For great deals on Ultimate Team coins, go and check out FIFA Coins online. You're right guys, it's Capgun Tom here and we are continuing our pursuit for some of those Team of the Year players. We are going to be opening as many gold packs as quickly as possible, hopefully to pick up something decent. Our first pack doesn't really provide anything bar a centre forward to strike a card, so that was kind of disappointing. It's all going to go in the trash and that's what I would recommend. Just discard everything because none of it's worth anything at the moment. I mean, consumables barely go for anything. The uh, fitness cards, which we're usually going for 300, they barely go for 200 coins now. Our next pack provides us with Bender. Very funny name, great player. I've used him in a couple of squads, would definitely recommend him. I remember playing Cal Freezy with my Bundesliga team early on in FIFA Ultimate Team 13 and scoring an absolute screamer from about four, not 40, that's a bit over the top, but about 35 yards. So a really nice player there. He's got a great long shot. Unfortunately, I did have to discard him because he isn't worth anything. But if you're looking for budget CDMs from the Bundesliga, I would definitely hit him up. Our next player is Andy Carroll. Pretty poor player. Um, I know I've used him in the past. I think I used him on uh, my Road to Glory last year. And he was actually surprisingly good. We also got a 4,000 coin unlock. So that's a good um, bit of uh, coinage there. Which is always nice to see. I do like to hope that eventually we could make some profit on some of these packs. But at the moment, as everything is so low in value on the market, there are very few players that you can pick up that will actually provide you with enough coins to say this pack has this pack this pack has actually given me coins rather than taking them from me. Now we didn't really get anything bar that shiny silver player. I'm not sure whether he's worth anything. Also, a 4222 card is in that pack, so we keep that as well. We should be able to sell that on for a five six hundred coins or something like that. So uh, not too bad we will have to open another one we will see what we get Castro now I think this may be my troll card because I get so many of this guy I seem to pick him up probably one in every five packs or so it's really starting to do my head in, and that's probably why I rage sold the whole pack because I just generally hate getting the same players over and over again why can't I see Ronaldo flash up five times in the space of 20 packs Never going to happen. But Castro, yeah, don't worry. He's here every time. But don't worry. We've got Team of the Week player. Woohoo! Unfortunately, I thought it was going to be someone good, but it's the silver in form. How much of a troll is that in a gold pack to get a silver in form? Not that I'm complaining. He did end up selling for 18k, which is a lovely, tidy bit of profit. And I was so excited that I didn't know what to do with myself. Pop him in the uh, club and get on with it. Because I was doing this during happy hour, and obviously time is money and packs you've got to get through those packs as quickly as possible during happy hour however happy hour is not the same as it used to be i still have the mentality of getting through the packs as quickly as possible but they don't give you a two times chance of getting in forms which is a shame i really enjoyed that feature it made it so much more exciting to have twice the chance of getting an in form during the happy hour and that's what really made me uh, care about happy hour last time but now all they seem to do is oh, release a couple of rather expensive packs which you would expect EA to do um, as they want money. They just want the monies. They want all the monies. It's just how they roll, um, basically. But uh, unfortunately, they don't do that two times thing anymore. Um, they, I'm sure they will do it eventually. They do still note up every time when it's not to say, oh, it's not uh, two times chance. So I'm sure they will be doing some with the two times chance. I think when the uh, pack buying is starting to slow down anyway didn't really get anything in that pack so it all goes into the discard bin and we are going to open up another one you can see we're starting to burn through those FIFA points I believe I started with 9,000 starting to get down to around the 3k in fact we're below that already we pick up Courtois I think he may still be the best Belgian keeper on the game um, 79 rated plays for Atletico Madrid didn't think he was worth anything and as I'm in a rush I am discarding him as well you obviously can pick up a lot of players that are very very good nowadays for basically discard price which is really depressing to see and our next patch pack means that we are getting knee deep in the source or the fanny as other people will say as we have picked up Rod Fanny from Marseille not worth keeping though although I did actually go back and keep him I almost discarded him there you saw me going for it but um, I end up discarding everything else. Maybe it was a mistake discarding that rare shil shil silver player. That rare silver player. Maybe he was worth keeping. But um, 
This time I did not keep him. Anyway, we're going to open one more pack. This is our last pack. We get Consigli. Not particularly anything special. Again, not a rare player. But uh, that's just how we roll. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little video. Please drop it a like. I'll be back later for a review of uh, Team of the Year Iniesta. So, definitely one you want to check out. But other than that, I will see you all next time.